Hello you beautiful people. As many of you know, I'm heading to New Zealand this week. In fact, I actually get on the plane this afternoon. I'm super keen, super pumped. Never been to New Zealand before. And I'll tell you what, I've got a lot planned and I want to share as much of it as I possibly can with you guys. Uh, so the premise of this trip, it is essentially uh, a wildlife trip. It's going to be all wildlife based from start to finish. So I hope to see penguins, seals, uh, whales, dolphins, albatross. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I really want to try and uh, do a daily vlog. Obviously when you're traveling overseas, you know, internet connection is very, very hard to get. So even if I'm able to film daily, I might not be able to update them daily necessarily. But you know, that's the plan. That's what I'm hoping to do, to share as much as I possibly can with you guys. But he's not coming with me, unfortunately. He's going to be left here with Sammy for, for the week, uh, as well as the other birds. But uh, you know what, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I don't think I'm going to miss him too much because I'm going to be too busy. Sorry. Just kidding, of course I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him heaps. Uh, but I do want to show you guys quickly some of the gear that I intend on taking to New Zealand. So I've got a few different cameras uh, and I'm going to be using them all of course for different reasons. So I'll go through them with you. So first camera on the list is my Nikon D500. I'm taking two lenses. Uh, the one on there at the moment is 17 to 50 millimeter. And then I recently got this bad boy. Now this is one of the new AFP lenses put out by Nikon. So the focus autofocus is just absolutely incredible. It's fantastic for wildlife and also fantastic for video. And that one's uh, probably going to be the main one I'm going to be using when shooting wildlife. That's a 70 to 300 millimeter lens. So absolutely awesome. Of course, I'm going to be taking this little baby, my new little baby here. This is my new DJI Mavic Air. Uh, absolutely incredible little machine. Unfortunately, it's been raining and windy for the last five days, so I haven't been able to test it out um, as much as I would have liked. So I'm really, I'm going to be winging it, um, no pun intended, winging it, putting this thing up in the air. I'm absolutely going to get some amazing footage with this thing. This camera that I'm actually filming with at the moment is called a Nikon Coolpix 600. And it's the first still camera that I did ever buy. It really is an all-in-one package. It's quite a nifty little camera. Uh, this is going to be the main one I'm going to be using for vlogging. So I'm not actually going to be taking many photos with it or anything like that. The microphone really is quite good with this camera. It does pick up the audio quite well. Uh, and you know, the picture quality is not too bad as well for what I'm doing. So it does have a super zoom lens on it, but you can see it does quite a nice wide angle as well. You can see me. And see what's going on. And last but not least is my little GoPro here, GoPro Hero 5. So there's a Hero 6 that's come out now, which I've heard is pretty spectacular. But this is what I've got. So uh, this is, of course, going to be used, you know, underwater. I've got the case for it. Uh, but I do have to make some modifications to the skeleton case. I've been having a few issues with it. Uh, so I'm going to do that, then pack my bags and uh, get ready to get out of here this afternoon. So it should be fun. Here I come back. He's so cute. So essentially, the problem is here. The GoPro's got three microphones on it. It's got one on top, one on the side, and one underneath. But when I chuck it in this case here, this covers all three of the microphone ports, and you can't hear a bloody thing. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, get my drill out and basically make the holes a little bit bigger. So if I do decide to use this case and want to use any of the audio from it, uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit better quality. Kill me again, Mr. Bartender, please. I need some bigger drill bits. Drill my GoPro. And for those there looking at me doing this, think I'm going to drill through my fingers. I probably am. Like I'm just kind of going for it here. No safety, no you know. What's our H and S? Wonder what would happen if I just like drill through the camera. Like. So here's a fun fact. Even though I'm not too uh, crash hot with these power tools. My dad actually owns a power tool rental business. Uh, so he'd probably tell me what I'm doing is the wrong way to do it. It's probably a stupid idea. And he'd probably get it done in about half the time because he actually knows what he's doing. All right, I think it's done. So. Got a brand new hole there, and a brand new hole there, and a big hole, or two, eh, two big holes there. Top notch job, I think my dad would be proud. So now I've just got to get the boss to approve it, and um, can go ahead and start packing my bags. Batman's scared of drills.
and vacuum cleaners, anything that's louder than his. I think the boss approves. Who oh boy? Real pain is my new addiction. Been the other way around for far too long. Sweet, packed and ready to go. Just gonna get changed to something a bit more comfortable. That's more like it. See you guys at the airport. Sweet, made it to the airport. Next time I see you guys, I'll be in New Zealand. Peace.